What is going on everyone, welcome back to a brand new FIFA 15 series here on FIFA 15. Now, we're going to be doing a brand new career mode here. We're going to be starting with Inter because I really I really fancy playing with Inter. Um, no particular reason why. We're going to be doing it at world class, 4 minutes, download the latest. We're going to advance, we're going to get into it um, as we do this. So yeah, I really wanted to play with Inter. I really want to use uh, Icardi on Carimo because I've never used him on Carimo before. Never bought him for any club I've ever used, nothing. So we're going to go ahead and um, and do that. We're going to change our last name to Gaming just for the... For the oh, I don't particularly know. Just for the... The lulls. Um, but let's get into it anyway. So into Ponda new boss. Um, we're going to see what we can do with this career mode, guys. Let me know in the comments who do you think I should sign. I'm thinking I could sign quite a few good um, good players. With the money that we get. Especially with the with the 60% uh, bonus that I get as well. So hopefully we can get something good. Let's see what the board say. Um, they want us to reach the semi-final of the, the uh, domestic cup. Uh, important transfer market. Uh, we'll look at that in a sec. Introducing myself as one of our scouts, probably our extra scout that we got to um, uh, for starting it. Right, so they want us to win the league. Christ. Um, okay, so look for a striker, and I guarantee, look, there's two strikers here, one of them being close. Closer. M Miroslav Closer. Come on, are you serious? Right, so we've got Matchery, we've got Closer. Um, what else could we go for? Uh, there's no one else here, but if we go into our team, go into our squad, we'll sort out our team because I do want to play a decent formation. I'm thinking maybe a 4-3-3. Um, right, what can we play? 4-3-3. That isn't such a bad formation. I think I might play that one. Um, we're going to put uh, Icardi up front. We're going to put Nagatomo there for now. I'm, gonna, I'm looking into buying another another player there. Kovacic, we're going to put Shakiri there. Medel, CDM, Guarin there as well, Palacio. I'm thinking about getting rid of Palacio because he is 32. Even though he's a quality player, um, he's got some good stats. 86 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. He's also got 85 finishing, 83 dribbling, 83 curve luck. He's a good player. But I'm thinking about selling him just for the sake that he's way too... He, he's getting on a bit, okay? He's getting on a bit, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I think I may go ahead and sell him. Let me just sort this out because this has to be done. Um, right, CDM, right mid, who else have we got on this team here? Nobody particularly fantastic. I'm thinking about putting him on our bench because we don't really have any fullbacks on our bench at all, so I'm thinking about doing that. Right, so, okay, so we've got on our bench, we've got Carrizo, Felipe, Campagnaro, Palacio, Podolski, Kovacic, and Brozovic. Brozovic. Right, let's also put this guy on the bench as well because he is the higher rated player, so that's not too bad. Um... Hopefully we've got some good players there. And also, I'll start in 11 for now. It's going to be... Actually, no, it isn't. I'm going to change this because I'm going to put Santon on the left. We're going to take off Vidic just because he's incredibly slow. Um, so we're going to take off Vidic. I'm going to put Campagnaro at right back. And then we're going to take you off and put D'Ambrosio. D'Ambrosio there as well. So I don't know whether that's how you pronounce it. He is 25. I might actually put him there as well because I think Campagnaro is getting on the age 34. So I'm going to stick him there. So for now, Handanovic in goal, Santon, Jesus, um, we've got Ronakia, Ambrosio, Medel, Guarin, Shakiri, Icardi, Nagatomo, and, oh god, not Hernanez. Oh Christ. Um, right, I'm thinking about putting Podolski. Let's just put Podolski on the right for now. It's not too bad. Right, actually no, do you know what? I'm going to put Shakiri on the right, and then I'm going to put... Um, oh, why did I just do that? Oh, what is going on right now? Um, I'm not actually quite sure. So, Handanovic. There, Podolski. Right, we're going to take off Podolski. I think I'm going to put Hernanez in the middle. Um, that's not too bad. So, the starting 11 for now. Handanovic, Santon, Jesus, uh, Ronakia, Diam, Brozio, Hernanez, um, Madel, uh, Guari, Nagatomo, Ricardi, and Shakiri. Because Shakiri can play right wing. Um, and he's a quality player as well. He's got so many good things going for him. So, at the moment, we have 27.2 million, um, 180k on the wages, which isn't too bad. It's a good start. I'm going to list some of these players up, uh, especially these type of ones I don't want. 63 overall, 31 years old. He's just pointless to have. Um, Handanovic is going to stay at the club unless we get enough of like 30 million for him. Um, how else? We're going to put you on loan. Um, we're going to put Felipe. I might put on the transfer list. We might keep him. Don't know. It depends with a. Uh, any offers come for him. Vidic, I would like to get rid of him. Maybe we can use him in a player swap just because he's 32. I know he's our best defender rating-wise, but Juan Jesus and Ronakia, I 
I prefer them over Vidic. This is personally how I play. So we're going to stick with that. He's got 49 acceleration at 55 stone speed. Like, that's just not... And he's going to decrease. So might as well cash in on him now and, and um, see what we can do there. So this guy's 16, uh, 16 years old. Uh, we're going to send him online. Um, Pereira. I didn't realize he was old. But anyway, uh, Santon, Campanaro. Could use him in a deal. The Ambrosia, Shakiri. Um, who else have we got here that we can put on loan or get rid of? We're just going to add him to the transfer list. Um, I'm going to send you out on loan. We have so many midfielders, it's unreal. Um, right, you're loaned out. Could put you, we could put you on the transfer list. Um, because you are 23, you're 68 overall. You're not really going to increase that much. Um, Podolski. A lot of these players are on high wages. Um, right. Let's add you to the transfer list. We're going to add... Kamara on a season-long loan. Um, Palacio. Now, do I want to... Do you know, I may use him in a deal for someone, but I'm not going to particularly use... I'm not going to put him on the transfer list because if we keep him, it's not a bad thing. It's just that I would rather cash in on him now. So, what I'm going to put is I'm going to put... I've got a couple of ideas for players that I could bring into the team. One of them being Memphis Depay because we need a, a all-out left winger. And he can play striker as well, even though he's... His position isn't particularly striker. I want to bring this guy in. So I'm thinking about possibly offering 6.2 as well as maybe... Um, do we want to put in Palacio? We could do. It's just off of 5.2. And the reason why I'm putting point 0.2 is so it gets rid of the 200,000 that we have on our transfer budget. And also, by the way, let me know in the comments what the quality is like. Um, it's a completely new... Uh, recording software and also I should be recording this in 60 frames per second as well so let me know in the comments what the quality is like and um, I'll go based off of that so transfer offer accepted 5.2 million plus Palacio with Memphis Depay I'm going to offer what you've got and I'm going to give you a crucial first team player because you're just going to be slapped right into the squad I love this guy on career mode he's so freaking good he has only got 4 star skirmish on the career mode but still it's not too bad um, right so anyway who else do I want to put in for maybe another midfielder we could go in for, um, swap out for someone. We've got Icardi, Nagatomo. What we could do is because Hananez is 29, we could push him to the bench and possibly buy Balassi. Now, I'm thinking Balassi's a good player because he's he's tall, he's strong. Um, he's not very expensive either, so I might put in an offer for him. Maybe for like 4 million. Um, 4 million and, and someone. Who can we get rid of? 4 million and Joel Obi. Um, right, so we're just going to put in that offer. The only reason I wanted to get rid of Obi is because obviously it gets rid of some wages for us. And also, I'm never going to use him. So I might as well put him to the, to the full potential that I can possibly do. Um, also, another player that I'm going to put in for is the main man, Kurt Zuma. Um, he's young. He's 75 overall. He's, he's 19, 75 overall. And uh, he's not really very expensive either. So I'm going to put an offer of 4 million for him. They might take that, they might not, but if they don't, then we'll like, just increase it. Um, my phone has to go off, doesn't it? So, 4 million for him. And who else can we possibly go in for? Um, Alright, so let's think about the team, right? So, Memphis Depay on the left. Up front, we can have Okadi. On the right, possibly Balassi. Um, the three midfielders could be Shakiri, Guarin, and Medel. Uh, Santon, Jesus, uh, Zuma, possibly. Or, yeah, Zuma would probably replace Ronakia. Uh, D'Ambroso, Handanovic in goal. Who else could I possibly need? Um, that is the question here. I don't think I possibly could need anyone else. Maybe because we get rid of Palacio, maybe another striker. So I'm thinking I'm going to go try and go all out. I'm going to just try and buy Lacazette. I love Lacazette in this game. Um, so maybe we could buy him. I'm not sure who we could swap him for. Um... Maybe someone that we're not particularly going to use. Maybe Hernanez could be one. We've got so many midfielders. I know some of you guys might hate me for this. But we've got so many midfielders. He's 29. I love Hernanez. I think it's fantastic. Um, but to put him towards a Lacazette deal could be quite huge for us. Um, who else have we got? Um, well, Palacio, obviously. Lucas Podolski, possibly. Um, Lucas Podolski, 10 million. I'm thinking maybe 10 million plus Lucas Podolski. Not too bad. Also, actually, another player that I do want to get is this guy. And he is a goalkeeper. So I'm going to try and offer for this player. He's valued at 1.6 million. Um, we could get him for cheaper than that. I'm going to try and offer our goalkeeper for him. So he's valued at 2 million. So maybe if I just put 1.5 and our goalkeeper. 
that could be quite good. He's a quality young centre uh, goalkeeper, um, so it'd be quite good to, to swap our older goalkeeper out for him. Um, we can use him for that. So let's go ahead, try and do that. We've got a transfer offer for Hananes. Um, Florentina. This could be a problem. I'm gonna ask for 15 million for him. If they say yes, by all means, yes. I will go ahead and do it. But it's gonna be quite difficult. So 3.5 million they want. Um, as well as our goalkeeper. So 3.5 isn't too bad. But I'm thinking maybe 2.5. I'm just going to save as much money as I can. He's on a 15k a week contract. Our goalkeeper, I believe, is actually on more than that. So that's not too bad. We're going to submit a new offer of 5 million for Kurt Azuma. Um, we're going to see whether Chelsea accept that. Um, and then also a contract offer accepted for Memphis Depay. So our first signing is going to be Memphis Depay. Now it's sad to see Palacio go. Um, I think he's a quality player. I've used him on Ultimate Team so many times. Um, but in career mode, he's 32. From now on, he's going to decrease. He's just going to decline. So I might as well use him now, where he's valued at the most, and he's not declined yet, in a offer for Memphis Depay, who is insane. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Memphis Depay is arriving to Inter Milan. That's a huge signing for us. Um, so we're going to stick him straight into the squad just so we know what's going on. Um, and we're going to change all of these around because I have OCD and I have to do it. Um, right, so let's do that. Right, okay, so it's not too bad. I'm thinking about replacing Nagatami for Podolski as well. Podolski's a good player though, so I might actually do that. Um, right, so that's good. I think that's pretty much good. We're going to see what the offers for the other team come back for. Um, we're going to see whether they accept or not. So international management, that's perfectly fine. Leon, 23 million. Holy Christ. Um, they're not interested in the player. Maybe if we could put in for, for someone else. Um, Belek, we've got Obi. Brozovic. Brozovic's only 21, though, so I kind of want to keep him. He could be a good player. Uh, Philippe. Philippe, we can put him for. He's 29. He's 70 overall. He's not particularly a first-team player for us, so that could be a good, a good signing for us. So I'm going to put in 12 million, as well as Podolski. For Lacazette. Um, they are interested in Podolski, so it's not too bad for us. Uh, transfer offer for Han Danovic. Dortmund. Straight in with a 17 and a half million pound offer. I'm just going to say 30 mil. I'd rather not sell this guy. If we can get 30 million from him, we can go and do good things with that money. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to offer 14 million for Hananes. 14 million for a 29 year old, 79 rated player. He's not too bad. Um, so if we can get him, then that's fine. But we can go ahead and do that. So Kurt Zuma, we believe he's worth more than that, for Christ's sake. Um, can we swap uh, someone else for it? Maybe a younger defender, a defender that we don't particularly want, or someone that we don't particularly want. Campanaro could be a good player, but I guess Kurt Zuma could play right back. He's got the pace for it. Um... Just going for Philippe again. Obviously, he can be used in the other deal, but I want to go for Philippe. Also, another player that I actually do want, um, that can be a very, very good signing for us, um, is the main man, Bellerin. Uh, right, I know he's very fast. Um, oh, crap, he's online, so he can't go. We can't go for him. Um, who else? Who else could we go for? Maybe, maybe the cheeky Carl Walker from Tottenham. Um... Who else can we go for? Let's go for Spurs. Spurs, Spurs, Spurs. Go for Defenders. We could go for... Who have we got here? Could put in an offer for Eric Dia. Eric Dia's a good player. Oh, he's just arrived, so there's pointless putting in that inquiry. Carl Walker or DeAndre Yedlin could be good. So we're going to offer for both because I know DeAndre Yedlin's not very good in terms of rating, but neither is Bellerin. And Bellerin plays like an absolute god, so we're going to see what they do here. So, transfer offer accepted for Liali, 2.5 million. We've also got a transfer offer for Puskas, who can go on loan to Lens. So, we're going to send you on loan to Lens. Hopefully, you can develop quite well there. Um, Leon, 23. Balassi, we're just going to offer straight up £4 million pounds for Balassi. See if they accept it. If not, we'll go up to about five, maybe six at the most, but then that's about it. Um, so, Yedlin, he's recently joined. £11 million for Carl Walker Cross. Um, Lacazette doesn't really look like it's going to happen. I'm going to offer a contract to to Liali. I'm going to give you a five-year deal with a squad rotational player because that's technically where you're going to be. Um, so I'm going to add that. Carl Walker, inquiry. Not going to give you that. I'm going to give you five million plus for Philippe. Uh, 
um, or Felipe, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. If I'm butchering these guys' names, well, I'm sorry, um, which I most likely am. So that's something. So submit offer. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to see whether or not this works. Hopefully it does, though. Transfer offer, 22 million. That's what they've offered for for uh, Handanovic. I'm just going to counter offer it for 30. Just straight up 30. We're just going to counter offer it for because I don't want to take anything less than 30. So Hernanez, they've stopped pursuing. Um, that's what we got earlier. Kurt Zuma, they don't. They won't give it to me. So six is probably the most I'm going to do. Six million is quite a, quite a bit of money for for a seven four rated uh, player. So five million pounds for, uh, plus for lead they accepted for Carl Walker. That's insane, right? So five year deal. Going to give you a squad rotational player, even though you're probably going to be a crucial first team player. Going to offer it to him doesn't necessarily mean he's going to going to accept it. There's a massive bike outside my house. Massive bike. Christ. Um, right, so I'm just going to straight up take 30. Actually, you know, I'm going to go down to 29 because why not? If they accept 29, that's fine. We could buy a, good, a couple of good players for that. So, Laurent want Jonathan. Now, I will take 3 million for Jonathan. He's a good player. 28 years old, 73 overall. We've got Nagatama who could possibly play in that position. Um, we've got a couple of other good players as well, so I'm just going to offer 5 million for Balassi. If we bring in Balassi as well, that's not too bad, so that could be that. So, Liali, I'm going to accept you. Welcome to the squad, Liali. Now, have you noticed that we may be decreasing in transfer budget, but we're increasing in wages um, because we're swapping them for players that are on a lot of money. So, Kurzuma has been accepted for £6 million. You will be a squad rotation players probably not going to accept that because he is a good player at his age um but let's go ahead and see transfer offer accepted for balassi so balassi hopefully we can bring you in you will also be a squad rotation he won't be you will start but i'm just going to offer people squad roles um as much as possible so handanovic i don't believe he's worth that much you'd like a bigger squad role in the club so we're going to give you an important first name player exactly what you're at spurs Shouldn't really complain with that, to be honest. Um, and they don't want to play three minutes or something. So, Freddy Guarin uh, from Southampton could possibly go for 10 million. Just another 15 million. Obviously, if, pe if players are going to sell, I'd rather not sell them, but if players are going to sell, they're going to sell for a lot of money. Um, so, that's, that's not too bad for us. 15 million, we could buy a decent centre mid. We also have quite a good, few good centre mids already in the squad that we can replace him for. I love Freddy Guarin, I love his curve, I love all of that stuff about him. But obviously, if we can bring in someone, it's just as good for that same amount of money. So, could be could be worth it in the end. So, contract offer to climb for Kazuma. Balassi has accepted to welcome to the squad Yannick Balassi, quality player. We've still got 14 million left as well. Um, so, Balassi has joined. You love living here. You freaking would, you little douche, right? Going to give you an important first name player then, as well as 48,000. We're just going to increase the wages by 8,000. Carl Walker also loves living there. Um, I'm going to give you a £5,000 a week increase. He does want 70,000 to start off with, to be honest, so it's not such a bad thing that we're offering 5,000 pounds more. And plus, it's not too bad. We've got, we've got the money to do it, so they just won't offer any more than 9.5 million. Um, which isn't too bad. So we're just going to keep countering 15 million um, until either they get bored or not. But, we're going to see what they say. So, contract offer declined still for Kyle Walker. Kotozuma has increased and has increased, has accepted his contract, so we've bought in Kurt Zuma. Wow, what a lot of business in this first episode, I'm not going to lie. So Kurt Zuma, who successfully negotiated the signing of Kurt Zuma, the player has packed his bags and is on his way. So he's also in a squad. The last player that I particularly want could be Carl Walker. Um, he's a good player, so important first team player. Let's freaking go. I want to get this guy. Um, and I've just increased his wages to what he wants. So Plazzi again. This guy can go. He's 18, 58 rated. I'm never going to use him. 60k, I don't care. He can go. We've still got wages as well from him, so it's not too bad. So, I don't believe Freddy Guarin is worth that much, which is perfectly fine. Contract offer declined. Are you for cereal? Oh my god. 72,000. Crucial first team player this time then. Christ me. Put me into a tight corner here. So, we have our first friendly. But, for this friendly, I'm not going to play it because I never really play friendlies. Um, so, we're going to bring on Kozum onto the bench. Um, we're gonna change you. We're gonna bring on Balassi as well. Um, but 
Uh, yeah, actually, we'll bring him on for Podolski. Uh, Podolski could possibly leave the club as well, so it's not such a bad thing. Because uh, he's getting on a bit as well. He's 29. He's only just joining real life. He has got some good stats, though, like 82 finishing, 80 dribbling, 80 curve, 83 ball control. He's got decent um, physical attributes as well, so it's not too bad. But I really do like playing this team, so I'm going to put my Shakiri. Um, into centre mid now, and I'm going to take off Fernandez and put Balassi on the right, and um, we're going to accept that. Kovacic for the minute is actually going to stay as a, um, a what's the word I'm looking for, like rotational centre back, uh, centre mid, sorry, um, but obviously we, we will use him in the future. Santon's picked up an injury in the first minute, are you serious? Oh my god. Right, 30 minutes in, there's only been an injury, yellow card, two yellow cards, and Balassi has scored on his unofficial debut. Bobo then scored, and so did Memphis Depay. So Memphis Depay has scored as well. Love this guy. Love this guy on career mode. He's so good because he's so agile. He's so quick. His acceleration is insane. So I love playing with this guy on career mode. Um, so we've got a 2-1 win in our first friendly. Unfortunately, we did get a injury. Um, he's out for four months. Oh, my God. That's insane. Right, so we need to bring in Carl Walker. We need to bring in Carl Walker just for the sake of the... Even if we have to put our right back at left back, we may have to in a minute because obviously I don't. I'd rather put uh, another full back in another position rather than our centre back. Yeah, as, uh, play as a full back. So that's something that I'd rather do. It's so annoying. Though. Um, right. So anyway, Juventus is coming in with an offer now for Handanovic. Carl Walker still declined. Are you serious? You money grabbing son of a bitch. Right. Crucial first team player, 75k a week. Come on, five-year deal. We need him on the long run. So another another game against the Palace. We're going to have to bring the Santon off. Campanaro is going to have to play. Um, and we're going to bring on Felipe. Can you play left back? No, you can't. Can any of our players? Can any of our centre backs play any wing back position? Um, and that's your We're just going to bring on an actual left back. Kurt Zuma. I know Kurt Zuma can play right back, right? Um, yeah, he can. So. Uh, what we could, nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. Hernandez is going to come on. Um, for Guarin. Kovacic can actually play this game as well. We're going to swap Hernandez and Kovacic around. Um, Terzuma can, can make his debut in this game as well. And Danovic has already increased by rating, so that's not too bad. Um, we're going to see this game against Crystal Palace. Players warming up. Let's go. Let's freaking go, me. Let's go. So, seven minutes in. Yellow card for Del Delaney. Um, Thomas then scores for Crystal Palace. This is bad. This is bad. Ledley gets a yellow card. Oh, God. Icardi, yes. Yes, an equaliser. 51 minutes. Come on. Come on, let's are strong. Let's get a win. Let's get a win. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Murray, no. No. All right, so we lost our second friendly. That's disappointing. We lost to Crystal Palace. Not a good sign. That is not a good sign. Hand on a bitch they don't want. I'm going to give up with you in the end. Carl Walker, you douche. Right, so I'm just going to offer him his three-year contract. See if that actually makes a difference. I'm having to offer him 80k. It's insane. Right. What can I do here? Let's swap you two around. I'm going to bring on Freddy Guara again. Medell back again. Um, Kurzuma, Wunakira, we're going to bring you on. Nagatomo, I might bring on. Um, and I might actually bring on Podolski. Uh, just to rotate the squad a little bit. Um, right, so we're going to do that. We're going to bring on. Uh, take off Hernandez off of the bench. Um, and we're going to stick with that. Alright, I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough for our last friendly, I believe. Um, so we're going to go ahead and sim it. This one's at home as well, so we should win this. Levante. It's not too bad. Hopefully we can pull off a victory here. Handanovic, Campanara, Zuma, Ronakia, D'Ambrosio, Medel, Guarin, Shakiri, Icardi, Podolski, Nagatomo. D'Ambrosio now gets... Oh. He gets injured. Shakiri scores, though. Kurt Zuma then picks himself up a goal as well. Um, so 2-0. Podolski then scores a penalty. Uh, DiMarco comes on for D'Ambrosio. Our actual left back, uh, left back that's... Um, our youth left back. So, Ricardi scores as well. 4-1. 4-1 victory isn't too bad. But we did get a player injured. And it's three there. So, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. I thought it would be longer than that. So, Carl Walker. Oh, my God. Carl Walker. Right. Carl Walker. If I have to offer anything more than 100k to this player, 
I'm gonna be so frustrated. I'm gonna be so frustrated, man. Finally, Christ, 90k a week you wanted. So we've signed Carl Walker. We have 112k left on the wages, and uh, it's not too bad actually. It's not bad at all. Um, who else do you think I should buy, guys? Let me know in the comments. Who do you think I should buy? Um, Carl Walker is a good player to sign for us as well. He's got pace. Um, and he's very agile as well, so it's another player that's good. Camping Yaro can come off. We're gonna bring on our, oh, we're gonna take off our young left back and bring on him as well. Bring on a uh, Camping Yaro on the bench. One Jesus can come off for, uh, can come on for, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ronakia, Depay, Fenega Tomo. Um, who else? Hernanez can come off, uh, can come on the bench for, for, uh, for Podolski. Hernandez, do we want to bring you on? No, nah, we won't. We'll keep you off for now. All of the players so far aren't looking too bad. Um, we've got a game coming up soon, I think. Uh, probably at the end of this at the end of this month. Who who do you think we should buy, guys? Let me know in the comments. Who do you think we should buy? We've actually got a message here. Trying to offer for Joel Obi. Um, maybe possibly get one million for this player because he's a youngster. He's only 23. And he's got potential. And he's actually gone up by one rating. So... It's got decent potential, I guess. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please do go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, follow me, Twitter, Facebook, all of that good stuff. If you want to go and see another episode tomorrow, um, go ahead, hit the like button on this video. So um, show me the support that you want. Let me know in the comments whether you want to see another video. Also, let me know in the comments who do you think I should buy. I haven't really got much money to go with, but if we can use someone in a deal, um, then possibly we can go ahead and do that. So. Go ahead, let me know in the comments who do you think I should buy. We've got about six and a half million pounds as well as 50k on the wages. And if we use someone on the deal, we've got quite a few players that are on high wages as well. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Maybe we can use Vidic in a deal, for example. He's on 110k a week. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Adios.